Hi. So now we'll see how to find an inverse of a matrix. First of all, let us understand what is inverse. Now, if you consider number phi, if you multiply phi with 1 by phi, the answer you will get is 1, that is unity, right? So, I can say 1 by phi is an inverse of phi, okay? In the same way, exactly in the same way, it happens in matrices. If I have a matrix A and if I multiply it another matrix, I'll name it as A raised to minus 1 or I can say it's A inverse, the answer which I get is unity that is a unit matrix okay i i is called as unit matrix or identity matrix okay now a inverse is a matrix which when multiplied with the original matrix gives you the unit matrix exactly the same as in the case of numbers you have to find a matrix in such a way <coughs> now let us see how to find out an inverse of a matrix now first of all you should know how to solve determinants a 2 by 2 determinant and a 3 by 3 determinant. Once you know this, you can proceed with finding the inverse of a matrix. Okay? Now, if I consider this matrix A, matrix A is a 3 by 3 matrix, we have to find the inverse of a matrix. The first thing we have to find a determinant of the given matrix. Okay? So, the determinant comes out to be minus 4. Now, if the determinant of a matrix is equal to 0, then the inverse could not be found out. The inverse does not exist. Okay? So, you can see the determinant of matrix A is minus 4, it is not equal to 0 and therefore, I can say that A inverse, inverse of matrix A exists. Okay? The next step is to find out the minors and the cofactors. Now, how the minors find out? For example, the first minor M11, if you have to find this minor, I have to remove the first row and the first column. You see M11, that indicates it is the first row and the first column. I have to remove the first row and the first column. There are four elements which are remaining. I have to solve the determinant of those four elements, a 2 by 2 determinant of the four elements. Okay? So, that will give you 6 plus 2, right? So, that comes to 8. So, M11 is 8. Exactly in the same way, M12. We have to remove the first row and the second column, 1, 2, okay? the first row and the second column. And the elements which are remaining, we have to take a determinant of those four elements that will give you 4 plus 4, okay? that comes out to be 8 again. Exactly the, in the same way, we have to find out the element M13. Okay? So, we have to remove the first row and the third column, the answer comes out to be 2 minus 6 which gives you minus 4. The same will proceed on, uh, for example, you can see a random element M23. If I have to find the element M23, I have to remove the second row and the third column. Okay? And if I solve the determinant of the remaining four elements, what I will get is 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. So, this is how we find the minus. Now, let us see how to find the cofactors. For finding the cofactors, if I see the first cofactor, it is indicated by capital A, A11. If I have to find A11, now the row and column which we omitted, that was the first row and the first column. So, 1 plus 1 is an even number, right? So, if it's, if it's an even number, so I have to keep the cofactor same as the minor, okay? So, the minor is 8, the cofactor is 8 as well, okay? Now, if I consider this element, M23. Right? 2 plus 3 gives you an odd number, that's 5, that's an odd number. Now, if it's an odd number, I have to change the value of the minor and write it in the cofactor. So, the cofactor comes out to be minus of minus 3, which is 3. So, this is how we find the cofactors. So, once I fill in this minus and cofactors, the most of the process is already done. Now, we have to find a new matrix, which is called as adjoint A adjoint of matrix A. Okay? So, adjoint of A is given by all the cofactors written in the vertical order. Right? So, the first three elements, it is 8, minus 8 and minus 4. So, 8, minus 8, minus 4. We have to write it vertically. I have to mention all those elements vertically and this matrix is called as adjoint of A. And the last step to find the inverse, it is 1 upon determinant of A into adjoint of A. So, the determinant of A was minus 4. So, the answer is 1 upon minus 4 and the adjoint of your matrix. So, this is how you find the inverse of a matrix.